One of the things I pride myself on is asking questions when um, I'm investigating a situation so that I can make a educated diagnosis as to what I think a problem is. I've asked some of these um, people who were being released from jail into programs like KPAP and other um, programs. A lot of these programs um, pay for uh, convicted felons who are being released on parole to go to um, to hotels like the one they have here in Papa. And which is one of the reasons I told them I didn't want their help because I don't want to be around a bunch of drug addicts. And a lot of these guys go directly to using as soon as they get out of prison. Well, I had somebody who's a convicted felon tell me that he had to leave from there knowing it was a free place to stay because there's so much drugs over there that it was just impossible for him to remain clean. This is not an environment that our taxpayers should be supporting. And it's something that we need to change. When we have a hotel, and I don't care how nice it is, that's being um, gifted with the ability to take in people who are coming out of prison in order to um, help them adjust and to get them in a positive fashion back into the street, it's not a good idea to keep drugs around. So why aren't these motel places reporting these people? And then on top of it, when a person who's a convicted felon who says, I don't want to go there because they're drug infested, why aren't they being allowed an accommodation? Because actually drug addiction can be looked at as a medical problem and needs accommodating. So, you know, we need to do everything we can to combat this type of situation. So why aren't we focusing on cleaning those types of places up too? Because that's taxpayers' dollars that we're spending on these motels that we're releasing these people into our society with. Time for real change. With God bless America and have a blessed day.